you know, if there aren't very many ocean events here, then maybe the oceans just aren't that important. Yeah, it would seem like people here just don't care very much about the oceans. Guys, I think people care. Where have you been? I've been here the whole time. And I think we can find people who care about the oceans. Well, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think, Nick? Nick? Let's go. Well, the, the oceans are not looking so hot from what I'm seeing, so maybe some bluefin tuna. Um, okay, so what am I asking? I live in the, the capital city of Wellington, which is actually built out onto the harbour, so if the waters keep rising, um, we're definitely going to see massive problems with that, but huge cultural significance for a lot of um, the indigenous people, the Māori. Does that mean that you think we should, I should like stop driving my Hummer? Or? Um, I think so, <laughs> yeah. I have my hairdryer just like aimed at Antarctica. How does that make New Zealand feel? Well, yeah, it's concerning for us. Antarctica right underneath, so if we've got rising sea levels or changes in ocean circulation, um, that's going to have an immediate effect. Some Chilean sea bass. You're all out of that too. Uh, Orange Ruffy is a good one, I hear. Nigeria has a coastline of about 853 kilometers. More than 30 million people depend on fishery activities. If the sea level is not rising, the intensity of the storms that do come along the coastline is increasing. And that is washing a lot of, away a lot of uh, nearby settlements. So, uh, people are not paying attention to it yet. We're an island. We have coasts all over and uh, with sea level rise, it's very important. Most of our population lives close to the oceans. Ocean acidification is definitely a big problem. We used to see a lot of more colors in the reefs and now when I dive, it's mostly white. I hope to actually see more about the ocean. So like, if sea level rise is a problem, can't we just clean it up with a mop? Why do we have to worry about this? Well, it, it, the CO2 in the atmosphere, is, it's not just going to disappear if we stop all emissions for now. So it's, it really is a huge problem. Yeah, but it's just a little extra water. I mean, who cares? <laughs> it's just, you know, just mop it up. Uh, maybe a baby seal. Sea otter? Polar bear. That's pretty good. You got that? You got that? How tall are you? Yeah, I'm one uh, meter ninety-six centimeters. So I don't know the, the, <laughs> the foot. <laughs> I don't know the meters, so it's still a mystery. Um, my sense is uh, oceans are not that important directly, but uh, they are indirectly, of course, as a part of the, the global food chain. I've heard that climate change might kill fish, but we eat fish dead anyway. So what's the problem? If uh, climate change uh, was to, to kill fish, then no fish would be there to, 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 to catch. But we can eat them dead. Yeah, but <laughs> and probably the, you wouldn't find any fish. Be so. Because they sink? I'm really tired of chasing people up and down hallways. Yeah, but you know, most people really seem to care about climate change who would live on the coast. That's true, and most people in the world live near a coast. Yeah, so we should be having more talks about ocean climate change. Instead of chasing people with microphones up and down hallways? Yeah. Right, Nick? 
Yep.